The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We had something very unusual happen yesterday, folks, and that is that every single index that we look at made exactly, to the tick, a .618 retracement. Uh, if you take a look at the cash S&P, I'm going to let you do it yourself so you can defy human nature and do the work yourself. Take a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P, the Russell, the NASDAQ, they were all right in that ballpark. I mean, not in the ballpark. They were right on home plate. So uh, pay close attention. You'll see here is the one here uh, coming up in the Russell. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention here, folks, is that something very, very important may or may not be happening. And let me go through the history of what I've learned over my years. But let's go back to uh, the high in the stock market. And this may or may not happen. I'm just bringing this to your attention because it has some interesting things that uh, come together, which is uh, quite quite interesting. You notice here, when you see those arrows, that's this was part of my book, uh, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint. And these were ideas of where the uh, P index, those were the dates that Frank Tauscher liked so much. And uh, this is what we're looking at. But I want you to notice here, uh, the top was made back there, uh, where that, uh, to the left of the red arrow, that's where the top was made in the Dow Jones. That was on August the 25th of 1987, the market came down hard uh, into uh, late, sep well, down about mid-September, and then it rallied back. That red arrow that you're looking at right there, that's where it rallied to. And I've got a chart that I used in the book that helps uh, describe what we're looking at. But I and I don't know if this is going to work or not, but Shane Smolian has, has got a whole program on this, and I'm going to give you the, uh, the uh, link for it. But uh, it's very interesting. Let's just go into this and take a look at it. Notice on the far left here where, you, where it says solar eclipse, and then you go up to the right, right there, where you see that little thing that looks like a Venus and a, uh, and a Uranus. Well, that was a Venus-Uranus cycle, which is, that was a trine. In other words, it was setting at 90 degrees. And what we were watching here, what, let's try that again, 120 degrees, uh, 90 degrees is the, is the square. If you take a look at this, this is where we are right yesterday in the S&P. This, where you see this on 1987, this was an exact 61% retracement. It was October 2nd, it was a Tuesday, and I bought October puts. And uh, they expired, you'll see that where the solar eclipse is, there's a blank there, and then you'll see the big gap down on the, uh, on the 19th. Now, I, I covered those puts on the 16th of October on the close, and I was happier than a little uh, pig outside uh, eating uh, car caramel corn. I'll tell you, well, that's a terrible analogy against caramel corn and also the pigs. The reason for this is that I, I had two and a half weeks to work with this and I bought them uh, right at the money. And my goal was to make 50, to put up five grand and make 50 grand. The Dow closed that day on the 16th down, I believe 106 points. I let my options expire and I got $51,000 back for that. Had I done November puts, uh, I could have done a little bit better because you can see this thing went you know, straight down on November the 19th. The reason why I'm saying that, folks, is because what happened yesterday in the Dow Jones, the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Russell, all of them made us exactly 61% retracement. If you remember, we were on the air with Mr. Z and I asked him what was the high in the Dow Jones and he was saying, I believe it was 35,801. And I said, watch for 35,865. The high was 35,873, I believe. And of course it's had a little bit of a sell off. But folks, if the market closes really badly today, this is going to be a very, very uh, nasty market over the next few weeks. Now, there's a lot of things out there that can cause this. It could be this thing with uh, China. 
the thing with Bitcoin, the fact that China has pulled the plug on, they can change these rules at any time. But this is the same type of thing that was set up in 1987. Secretary of the Treasury, uh, James Baker at the time was in Hong Kong trying to work out a deal. And when he finished on Sunday afternoon, he basically said the word regrettably when he started it and then the whole thing turned down. That weekend for me was one of my most emotional in my life. On the 17th of October, I had to go to a wedding. Uh, you've heard of Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Smith. Well, the Smith da granddaughter was being married in Paso Robles, and they were having a great wedding there. And my daughters and I went to that wonderful wedding. And then on sa uh, Sunday, that was Saturday, and on Sunday the 18th, we went down to the Bel Air Country Club where Eddie Horowitz was getting married for the first time at the age of uh, 52 years of age. And uh, there were a whole bunch of famous people there, Tudor Jones, PQ Wall, uh, just a lot of, lot of people that knew, and uh, James, uh, Paul Volcker was there. And it was just, uh, it was a lot, of, a lot of fun, and we had a great time. And then coming back um, on Sunday, we don't have overnight markets or anything like that, but we, when we stopped for dinner that night, or that afternoon before we got home, I, uh, I called the New York desk of Drexel just to see what was going on. Because Eddie, when he toasted in a Jewish in the Jewish wedding, they raised the groom on uh, a chair, and we hold, we held him up, and he he's able to make a toast. Well, we expected him to make a toast about his bride Beverly, but what he did was he toasted everybody that was short the stock market because he said it's going down big on Monday. And of course, we've always joked about that. And I always remember his wedding day as being October the 18th, but uh, that's what happened. And uh, the, the things are set up the same way. Whether they'll happen the same way or not, folks, I don't know. But it's this type of thing that if you look at the astrology long enough and you find things like this, they're worth taking a look at it. Now, the key to this is we should close badly today in the market. And we were down 25 handles in the S&P. We rallied back to be up. So, you know, there's no fear coming into the market or not. But the close of the day is going to be the key because if it closes badly, the odds favor. And look at the bond market, folks. We've been bearish bonds for a long time, and they broke below that, that massive support that we were talking about. If you remember, we talked about it in notes and bonds yesterday and the fact that it was uh, getting worse and worse and worse, and that's exactly what's happening. So it, it's just truly amazing that uh, you know we, we could be looking at the same thing that happened in October of 1987. Maybe, maybe not. But the odds are the odds are setting up that if it goes above, very simple. If it goes above yesterday's high, this thing is totally wrong. There's no question about it. And you need it to close badly today. That's the two factors that you really need, because in like like we mentioned. In 1987, on October the 16th, we closed down 106, and the next day we opened down. This is when the S&P was at, uh, you know, it was $500 a point, not $50 a point, and uh, it, I think it was around 280, and it opened uh, down $5,000. I mean, that was only 10 points, but that would be equivalent to 100 points now, and. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that may or may not happen. Remember, we've got the people out there that have not had any experience with anything like this. The Reddit, Robinhood, 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I put up the chart of the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. We, we did this again. I don't want to repeat it over and over again because I know you get tired of listening to these patterns. But this is very important, folks. This is the number, the, the number one commodity that we deal with. This is the highest open interest of anything. The 10-year note, it determines you know, interest rates on cars, automobiles, credit cards, all that stuff. And... Um, but the, the key is it's breaking down, folks, and it's been in a bear market for a long time. Remember, they tried to feed us the tapioca about the negative interest rates. Well, they're going to have to borrow a lot of money to pay for all the stuff that they're trying to pass through on this uh, infrastructure bill, which we certainly need. But uh, they're going to do that by issuing notes and bonds. And that means they're going to have to raise interest rates in order to get people to come in and buy those to get a higher interest rate. Now, that is the wrong thing to do. If you think about what Bernard Baruch said, don't be concerned on your money. Be concerned of your money. So what they do is they give you a chance to come in and get it. I remember in 1976, uh, living in Westlake Village and just starting to work at Drexel Burnham, uh, all my neighbors, not all my neighbors, two or three of them would go down to uh, Tijuana to put their money in the bank at uh, 14 or 15 percent because they were only paying like 5 percent at the Bank of America, and, and they still got their 15 percent. The problem was is that they devalued the peso by 10 to 1, so instead of having, uh, you know, $10,000, they only had $1,000. They were still getting 14 percent, but on the thousand dollars and it kept going down and down from there. So remember, it's not the return on your money, it's the return of your money. That's what we're trying to focus on here. Now, the next chart that I wanna to bring to your attention is, this is the one we were talking about yesterday when Mr. Z was on. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average itself. It's the index, not the futures, but the futures also made that exact point, exactly at 34,000, I believe it was uh, 34. It was 34,860, 860, and the high was 34,872 uh, or 73, and it only stayed there for a second. But stop and think of this, folks. This is 30, 30 stocks that went exactly to the exact price, 
And then they sold off 150 points yesterday and 150 points today. So they were down about 300 points, come back a little bit. But uh, the fact that it hit that number and hit all the other numbers, defy human nature, folks. Go look at this. Look at the S&P cash. Look at the S&P futures. The S&P S &P futures, 78% uh, number was, I know uh, the 61% on the whole thing, I believe was, no, it was seven, eight, let's just do it together. Shut the front door and raise the rent, Larry. Since you're going to talk about this, you might as well make a case for what you think you're looking at. May or may not happen. Oh, it was 618. Let me get it up here. See where we are. Hold on just a second. And you'll see it here. And this is the same thing. Now, again, we didn't come down very much today. And we're still setting there. And maybe this is going to be bullish. I don't know. If we go above the high that we made on uh, yesterday, this all is wrong. And you can start throwing the vegetables. But remember, I'm Italian, and you throw vegetables, I make a toss salad. All right, here's the, no, it's the wrong one. Shut the front door. Here it is. Sorry, boys and girls. I'm trying to get away from this uh, <laughs> video thing. I'm very uncomfortable with this video. OK, here's the S&P. High, high in the S&P yesterday was uh, 4455. Uh, and the Fibonacci number was four, five, three and a half. So it went a point and a half above it. So uh, that's what we're watching here. This is exactly what was happening on October 2nd, 1987. I don't know whether it's going to uh, happen the same way, but this is, this is why I looked at astrology. Dr. Miller had a hard time getting me to look at astrology and these Fibonacci numbers until she showed me the Venus Uranus cycle, which is 255 days of a year, divided 250, 255 days divided by 365 days or 255 trading days. That's the Venus Uranus cycle is exactly 0.618 of the year. So that's it. So just take a look. Mr. Z is saying that the NQ bounce here was uh was exact yeah that's right I already take a look i already know what it looks like z i've uh, i've seen it and done it uh, you know you know the trouble is most people don't want to end up doing the work uh, that's necessary to uh to do it so uh, keep in mind that th this stuff does not work all the time but the fact that all these things are lined up the way that they are it's worthy of your attention because uh, first of all, we're looking at a Fibonacci cycle that is 0.618 of the year. We've got a bond market that's in trouble. We've got, look at silver, folks. Silver dropped 78 cents today, and gold broke down. You know, it's trading about unchanged now, I believe, or something like that. So there's something, something really big is going on out there. And when you look at the biggest markets in the world, the notes and bonds, there's, uh, there's trouble in River City. So be really careful in here. I know. And if, they, if this thing closes below the low of the day, which would be hard to do at 44.10, that's 30 handles from where it is right now, that would be a strong indication that we would be looking at something like that. Because on October the 2nd, you know, the market didn't really, you know, collapse until October the 16th. I mean, it was going down, but it didn't collapse until that uh, very last day. And someone's got a question coming in here. Gary from Tennessee asks if the... XAU is better hedge against a possible market pullback. The problem is, Gary, uh, I have to be real honest with you. Uh, if I wouldn't, I'd be lying to you. But I don't know anything about AAU, and I don't know anything about the VIX. I know the futures, and that's really what I focus on. I watch what, what it does. But if we close badly today, and if we close strong today, Forget everything I've said, and uh, it'll be Shane Smolian's fault because I, I uh, had a uh, after I had this idea, we chatted about it quite a bit, and he you know, put a whole program together for it, and I posted it in there. It's a YouTube, and I believe it's tomorrow. You'll be able to take a look at it, and uh, I believe we're going to try to get Shane on the air on Monday because uh, it's going to be a busy day, and after this, we'll we'll see if it's going to happen. But you knew two things to happen. You, may, you must stay above, uh, below the high that we made yesterday in all of these indices. And the second thing is they've got to close in the lower part of the range today. Otherwise, uh, you, you, that's suspect. You know, that's it. On October the 2nd, of uh, two, that was a Tuesday, I remember. And uh, it's, it, it worked in my favor. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday or Tuesday, it went against me. And then after that, it started to, to go down. And then the big day was that October the 16th was, was a Friday, and my goal was 50 grand, and with about, 
an hour to go, I was setting at about 48.5, and uh, that 50 grand went to a place back in uh, near where Basil lives, uh, one of the universities there, because my daughter was going to medical school. And anyway, that's uh, that's what happened, and it turned out to, to be okay. Had it, uh, if I had bought the November puts, I could have bought the medical school. No, I couldn't have done that. But it was uh, what a big day, and it was crazy after that. Anyway, that's what that's what I'm looking at. Here. We're going to take a break. When we come back. We got Tim Bost on the line, uh, and I know he's always got some great stuff. I've already seen his charts, and with the big thing happening with China and Bitcoin, we'll ask him about that and uh, get his feedback. So if you do have any questions for Tim or myself, it's 877-927-6648. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, if the trading gods are with us, I think we have Tim Boss, the Financial Cycles Weekly, on the line. Tim, are you there? Everybody's with us today, so oh, <laughs> good to be here. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Listen, uh, you've, got a, you've got a great chart here to start off, of course, with the uh, uh, their cycle chart from August the 23rd, and it's showing that uh, 
you're looking for a low sometime down in here into uh, the 27th or the 18th? Right, exactly. Uh, what we we did was uh, share this chart uh, back with the uh, uh, listeners uh, on the 23rd of, of August. And in, in doing so, what we were highlighting was our cycles analysis. This is a composite cycle analysis. And, of course, we went on to connect that uh, with uh, the uh, – uh, uh, the astrological factors uh, at work along the way as well. Uh, but with this uh, chart, what we're uh, uh, looking at here is a projection, the black line of uh, the uh, actual S&P uh, closing uh, uh, prices uh, on a uh, on a, a line graph uh, there up through I think it was the 19th or 20th of, of August somewhere a couple of days prior to uh, when we shared this chart. Uh, and then uh, with this um, what we uh, had was our cycle projection and looking for a big downturn beginning around the 1st of September, uh, heading on into September 27th. And that uh, area that we've outlined on the chart there uh, is really uh, all about uh, that uh, particular uh, uh, zone, uh, the uh, 27th of, of September through the 18th of October. And what we were noting based on our cycle work was this looked like kind of a, uh, a, a congested uh, a bottom extended uh, a trough there that we would be heading into uh, primarily during uh, the th uh, first three weeks of October or so. Uh, so that's what caught our attention, and that is upon us now as we speak. After having seen a good pullback during most of September, you know, with the exclusion of the trading yesterday, of course. But uh, yes. oh, we, we've seen, seen that. Uh, we've got a question, Tim, from uh, Larry Pesavento in Tucson, Arizona, and his question is: <laughs> We have this yesterday. We had this Venus uh, Uranus uh, opposition yesterday, and I've been telling the folks it looks very similar to what happened on October the second of uh, 1987. I happened to be buying puts on that day where the market on that day rallied exactly 61% to the tick from the high that we made back on August the 25th, which was harmonic convergence. And yesterday, all four major indices, the S&P, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, and Russell uh, all hit exactly 61% retracement. So to me, it's lined up perfectly. The only two things that I need to have this complete would be, uh, first is it cannot go above the high that we made yesterday. And the second thing is, is that it's got to close in the lower part of the range, I would think. So uh, do you agree that that's a possibility yeah, I, of that type of scenario? Absolutely. I, I, would, I would agree uh, totally uh, with that, that analysis. And it's interesting in looking in general at these Venus uh, Uranus uh, combinations, and we've, I've done a lot of tracking of this over the years. Uh, and when we think about the, the basic uh, 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 interpretations of those planetary energies, uh, Uranus, of, of course, is uh, uh, things that are surprising, big sudden moves, uh, explosions, uh, things uh, uh, get pretty intense uh, along with that. Venus represents uh, good things, you know, uh, pleasant surprises, so to speak, when we combine the two. And so it's not unusual to see a big spike in market activity uh, associated with that, uh, and uh, that was you know right on the money uh, yesterday, and certainly uh, given uh, those Fibonacci retracements uh, that we saw, uh, I, I would uh, agree with your uh, analysis there. If we don't violate yesterday's highs and then close in, say, the lower third of the, of the range, we get a little bit of a fudge factor, the lower quarter, lower third, somewhere in there, uh, then I think uh, that would be confirmation, especially as we get ready to move into next week. Uh, and what we're looking at coming up next week, uh, of course, is the beginning of a new Mercury retrograde period. And that's what's caught our attention. And it just so happens that this Mercury retrograde period coincides uh, with this uh, period that we uh, uh, noted on our trading chart back on the 23rd of August. Uh, Mercury goes retrograde next Monday on the 27th of um, uh, September, and then we'll resume direct motion on the 18th of October. So it's a very close alignment with that uh, pattern. Uh, now, what we've done is looked at some uh, back testing uh, with Mercury retrograde. In fact, uh, we've got a pretty complete history of the S&P 500. Uh, so we can go back uh, quite a few decades here and see what has happened with this index around the times that Mercury goes retrograde. Now, Mercury goes retrograde three times uh, each year. And what's typical, as you can see from this chart, that, that zero point in the middle of this uh, 
uh, uh, backtesting chart here uh, is the date of the retrograde stations, whatever time it occurs uh, you know, in any given uh, event. So prior to and immediately after that, uh, the, the trading essentially goes flat in the S&P. Now, this is an aggregate, an average of, uh, you know, a few hundred examples of, of this uh, going uh, back some decades. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't mean that it will conform exactly to this each time. But whoa, 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 whoa. Average. <laughs> you mean you yeah. don't know exactly 100 percent? Well, we do our best. Now you tell me, why, why, why have I been having you as my guest? You've been right so far. Oh, this could be the one time. Just a minute. One this second. Yeah, more. This is Larry. Cover all my short positions. Okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> uh, I was it. just joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, do you have a book on this, uh, Mercury Money in the Markets? Is that what it is? That, uh, Mercury Money and the Markets is, in fact, the, the, the book that we've got uh, – uh, available. It's, uh, it's, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, we put this out a few years back. And my good friend Larry Pesavento had a glowing review of this that's included in the first pages of the book there. So you can read all the good stuff that he had to say about it as well. <laughs> so, uh, But at any rate, when we have these Mercury retrograde periods, there are um, particular kinds of market dynamics that we're looking for. Now, what we did in the book is uh, go through and backtest examples uh, with all different kinds of configurations, a lot of different markets, and work out specific trading strategies. Uh, so it includes not only uh, the outline of how to trade Mercury retrograde periods, but also includes uh, a, a kind of an ephemeris or a directory for a little over 200 years worth of uh, Mercury retrograde periods. Uh, so you can look at them historically and also forecast the times uh, in the future as well. But essentially what happens is whatever the market's doing during the Mercury retrograde period, it sets up something else. Uh, and more often than not, what we'll see is this period of trading congestion uh, while Mercury is, is uh, in retrograde. Uh, sometimes it can be a different kind of trend reversal. The market can be going down. We'll see uh, it uh, surge back upward while Mercury is retrograde. Uh, so there are variations in this. Um, but typically, this is a well-defined period uh, when we can also see uh, inversions in our cycle forecast as well. Uh, this is one of the great mysteries of, of folks that do cycle work. You have it all figured out, and then all of a sudden, uh, the market does the exact opposite of what you're anticipating. You're looking for an upcoming high, and it turns out to be a low. Many times, the Mercury retrograde periods are impacting that as, as well. Uh, and uh, just in general, and doing analysis, <laughs> I'm calling this analysis fake-outs here, uh, and it's all about the analysis rather than the market itself. Uh, and so for me, at least, what I'll do is, uh, you know, do my studies and analysis, figure out a trading setup, everything looks good. And if Mercury is retrograde, more often than not, I'll try to second guess myself. I'll say, oh, this looks great, but what if I'm wrong? And I'll suddenly re reverse my opinion. And that's when I am wrong. <laughs> second guessing is one of my favorite things to do each day. Stay with us, Tim. Right back. Look at Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back speaking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. And uh, Tim, we've got a uh, question from Jerry, and it's in 2024, there will be a solar alignment that hasn't occurred since uh, 79 AD. That's Mount Vesuvius, right? And it says energy fields of Saturn and Jupiter will align with Earth, and we will experience a solar minimum. Do you have any comment about something this dramatic? Uh, well, we get dramatic events from time to time. I have to confess that I've not specifically looked at that particular lineup coming in 2024, but Jerry's question has certainly encouraged me to do so. So okay. I'll, I'll be jumping right yeah. in and see what we can figure out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let Jerry know to call in on 2024 if we're all still here. Exactly. And can discuss it. <laughs> when you're, when you're so, a short-term trader like I am, 2024 is like three millenniums out, but... Right. 79, AD, 79 AD really caught my eye because of uh, you know Mount Vesuvius, and right, right. Uh, that was well, that was really, uh, yeah. As, as best I can remember, 17, uh, 79 AD was a pretty big year there. So yeah, but, but yeah, my, I, was, I was traveling my, out of Pompeii that day, so I missed well, it. Exactly, I was a wee hey, tight at the time. We had a <laughs> big announcement today from China about uh, clamping down on Bitcoin. What is your uh, what's your feeling here of what we're looking at here for Bitcoin? Well, uh, let's take a look at a chart here. It's interesting because uh, what we've seen, uh, especially since uh, the, the move by uh, El Salvador uh, a couple of weeks ago here to uh, you know, accept a Bitcoin uh, as uh, – uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the currency you know, along with the dollar on an official status uh, there. Uh, and there's been a lot of controversy around uh, that and a huge, huge amount of resistance from uh, regulatory bodies, the banking community, uh, governments around the world. Uh, everybody seems to be ganging up on Bitcoin <laughs> at this particular point, and it has driven the price uh, back down. Uh, and certainly uh, with uh, China and, and other governments, the biggest challenge here is to uh, fiat currency, uh, the international exchange system, and especially with the, the uh, ways that, that uh, relates to uh, the banking establishment. Uh, these are all big challenges. We have to remember that Bitcoin uh, was originally proposed uh, back in the fall of 2008, uh, just about six weeks after the collapse of uh, Lehman Brothers and uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the entire global financial system uh, on, the, on the brink of the precipice there. Uh, so the idea of coming up with an alternative uh, to uh, uh, standard uh, currency exchanges uh, and, and uh, the rules and regulations associated with that uh, was, was 
a lot of what motivated this in the first place. Uh, so in my perspective is we're seeing a big test of, of that at that fundamental level, uh, but in terms of the technical look uh, and, and the uh, degree to which this has already become entrenched and accepted around the world in various venues, uh, I don't think Bitcoin's going away. Uh, so what we're looking at uh, currently here is a pullback uh, in the 42,000 range. Uh, earlier today it was 42.4. Th last time I checked a few minutes ago it was about 42.1. Uh, so what we're seeing here uh, is uh, playing with this uh, support zone at uh, $42,044. And our next big objective is a move back up to that uh, 46544 level. I believe that we will, in fact, see that happen. Uh, that's the first harmonic. Uh, Chronos support uh, that we have seen in the past and is very typical with many technical charts. We'll see uh, resistance become support and then support turn back into resistance uh, all along that same uh, level. So that's a very, very important uh, zone uh, for us at that uh, 46,544 uh, level. A breakout above that point would be incredibly bullish, but until then we've got a buying opportunity as far as I'm concerned. Okay, that sounds fair enough. Now, do you have any special programs coming up for the folks? We do, indeed. We've got uh, uh, webinars uh, that we're putting together here. And uh, get connected here uh, at uh, bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. That's all lowercase except capital T, capital L, capital P. Uh, and that will uh, hook you up with a direct connection. We will keep you informed of all of the uh, special programs and offers that we have coming up. Uh, we'll be taking an in-depth uh, dive here, a look at uh, the Mercury retrograde dynamics. Uh, and so that will be the first thing. Uh, and if you sign up here with us through that, we'll make sure that you, uh, you get access uh, to, to, to that, as well as uh, other programs that we've got uh, coming along the way as well. We're going to have to take a, a deep look at uh, 2024 from, based on what uh, the suggestion was earlier today. Well, we'll do that. How about being our guest on uh, October the 8th, a week from uh, two weeks from today, we have a, uh, a combination of a whole bunch of stuff. So could you be our guest on that day, October the uh, 8th? That looks good, actually, for that specific date. We can make that happen. All right. Okay. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, thank you very much. We really enjoy listening to what you have to say and certainly enjoy the chart. So be safe, my friend, down there in uh, paradise, okay? We'll, we'll do that. You take care over on the west, western half of the country there. <laughs> so, okay. Thanks a lot, soon. Tim. Right. Okay, folks. Well, we're having a nice rally going on in stocks right now. And uh, all we have to do to invalidate everything I've said over the last 25 minutes is for the market to get above the highs that we made yesterday. Uh, we have uh, actually gone above the 61% retracement in the NASDAQ already. We haven't quite done it in the uh, Dow Jones uh, yet, but the S&P number is pretty close, I believe, to that number. Give me one second here to uh, take a look at where we are. Uh, yes, we uh, uh, believe that is correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, we already have. Ha no, 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 no. That's wrong. I got the wrong picture. Just a second here, boys and girls. Uh, yes, we have. We've already, we did that this morning. We got above the, uh, on that opening run, we went from 44.10 up to uh, 44 even. That was the 61% retracement. We're trading there at 44.42 again. So all we have to do is close above 44.56, and uh, you can forget about everything that I said about the 2nd of October, but uh, if it has to close lower, remember the two requirements that we have is first, it's got to get above 45, 44.56, and the second requirement is it's need to close in the lower end of the range, and for me, that would mean it would have to close below 44.26, in order to get that uh, working in, in the right direction. So that's what I'm looking at as I go through these. Folks, when we look at all this stuff, it's all about probabilities. It's about how much money you don't lose as opposed to how much money uh, that you might make. And that's the real key here to pay attention. But the things are set up very, very evenly from a cycle point that we have everything lined up the way it was on October the 2nd of 87. That doesn't mean it's going to end up the day like that, but it started that way. And that is a very important cycle that October, excuse me, uh, Venus, uh, Uranus uh, combinations. Remember, it goes around in a 360 degree circle conjunction where we are today is zero degrees. That's like a new moon. And then it goes around 90, you know, uh, 120, 180. 
270 and back to zero again. 180, of course, would be the conjunction, and that would be equivalent to a to a full moon. And those happen uh, in a Fibonacci cycle of 255 uh, trading days over 365, comes out to 0.618 of the year. So that's uh, another one to pay uh, very, very close attention to. But we are in a very critical area of the markets. Uh, we're watching a bond market that's under a great deal of pressure and doesn't look like it has any friends at all. But we'll cover that when we get back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of The Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I uh, posted the bond chart, and if anybody can find anything bullish about that chart, please raise their hand. I'd like to join your room to see what it is because, boy, this doesn't look very good at all especially after the Fed came out and gave some type of report, whatever it was. But remember, folks, if we go back and look at this from a very long time ago, and when they were trying to tell us about, uh, you know, the uh, negative interest rates way back in 2020, uh, of course, that was the high of the bond market up there around 192. We broke down, the rally back was just right at the 382 retracement, uh, you know, back in uh, July. And now you see we're breaking down again, and it just looks very, very ominous. Uh, my opinion is just from 
trying to think logically, and I always get in trouble when I do that. The only way they can pay for all this infrastructure stuff is to create money. They're going to do that by selling notes and bonds. I don't think China is going to be buying them, so they're going to have to raise interest rates here in order to uh, attract people for the higher interest rates, which is a scam because they're getting higher interest rates, but they're getting on something higher interest rates of a asset that is going down in price, and that is not a very, very smart thing to do. Um, I have a window over my charts. I don't know what that means, but uh, let's just do it again here. I'll put it up here so we can see it. Thanks a lot, Al. Uh, there is the uh, weekly uh, chart. Now, I hope that shows uh, where it is. You'll be able to see that because I don't see them in the room when I'm when I'm uh, speaking here. So let's uh, let's do uh, one thing. Let's make sure that we have a uh, a wonderful weekend. Try to help your friends and neighbors that are out there that need help. We'll live every day, of course, in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And if the markets do close in the lower end of the range today, I will see you on a lower opening. There will be three chances uh, on Sunday night. It'll be either be lower, higher, or unchanged. Of that. I can be 100% sure. So may God bless.